Hey everyone, this is Phil, and in this video I'm going to do a quick demo of the GAN 464x4. So, this cube has been in the works for a pretty long time, and uh, we're all very excited to, to show this cube. Uh, it's pretty good, and uh, you know, it has a lot of GAN qualities, uh, which are also pretty good. So, the first thing you'll notice about this cube is that it's 60 millimeters, uh, which is a really nice compact size for a 4x4. Uh, I really like it, and uh, I think a lot of people would like it as well. Uh, this 4x4 is naturally very crunchy and fast, and you can hear the crunch. The middle layer is a little more subdued, but the outers are very, very crunchy. Um, another comment I have about the outers is that they are absolutely amazing. So the outers are really light, and uh, it's somewhat flexy, and so I actually enjoy doing the 3x3 stage on this cube a lot more than I do other cubes. Uh, every time I get to that stage, I get a little excited because the 3x3 stage is really good. Um, the inners, I feel, are a little bit unstable. When I do parity, for example, I feel like I have to control how much I move the uh, inner layer because sometimes I overturn and then the cube doesn't cut the way I want it to and it deforms. So that's one thing to be mindful of. Maybe some thicker lube will help with that. But uh, in general, this is a very, very fast, crunchy 4x4. Outers are amazing. Inners uh, give me a little bit of trouble, and I think uh, you'll have to work with it in order to smooth it out and uh, maybe slow it down a little bit so it's more controllable. And the magnet strength is really, really good. One cool thing about this cube's magnet positioning system is that the magnets are actually really close to each other, and uh, we think this gives it a good magnetic feel, even if the magnets are a little weak. So that's one thing that's unique about this cube, uh, is that uh, they're actually very, very close to each other. Another thing that's interesting about this cube is its internals. Uh, there's actually a lot of space between its uh, small and large internal pieces. Uh, it's not like a lot of traditional 4x4s where the pieces hug each other really tight and there's no room. There's actually a considerable amount of room, and I think that's what gives this cube a crunchier, airy feel, is, is that the pieces aren't in constant contact. And uh, overall, this is a pretty cool release by GAN. A lot of people were looking forward to this, and, uh, you know, this is a very good first step for GAN. Uh, we're really happy that they released this, and we look forward to more Big Cube releases by the company. Thanks for watching.